some interesting polling data here with regards to the most popular and least popular senators in the United States. Let's check out the least oops, popular first. Make sure this is floating on top. Okay. Let's check it out. <clears throat> 10 most unpopular senators. Uh, Collins, so uh, Maine, McConnell, Kentucky, Joni Ernst, Arizona, Lisa Murkowski, Alaska, Menendez, not sure, Gardner, not sure, I think Miss Sally's Arizona, um, Fisher, Warren, so Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, obviously running for president, and then Rand Paul, I believe from Kentucky as well, and then <clears throat> Yeah, so we see Elizabeth Warren down there at 40% favorability rating, or approval rating, or disapproval, I should say, because um, only 40% of people approve of her and 60% disapprove. You know, that's pretty pretty high number. And then so now let's check out the 10 most popular senators, fourth quarter polling approvals. Boom, at the top. Future President of the United States, Bernard Sanders. Future President Sanders. Bernie up there, 65%. I mean, that's that's a huge number. I mean, that's <laughs> six and a half people out of ten have a favorable view of Bernie Sanders. And frankly, if the media wasn't so completely biased against him, I think that number would be percentage points higher, probably at least 70%, honestly. Then Barrasso, uh, Leahy, is that West Virginia, NZ, not sure, King, not sure, Hoven, Klobuchar, also running for president, Minnesota, Terry Reid, is that the same person? Chris Coons, Pat Tooney, I think. Um, so there you go. Most popular senator in the United States, future president Bernard Sanders. Looks like Amy, out of the other candidates running for president, that are senators. Uh, Amy Klobuchar um, has a decent favorability rating um, in the top 10. What is she at? Seventh there. But Bernie far and away most popular senator running for president, I'd say the most popular candidate running for president, and then we have the most unpopular senators, and we see Elizabeth Warren there at only 40% approval rating, a whopping 25 points less than Mr. Bernard Sanders, and even 16 points less than Amy Klobuchar, I think hers was at 56%. And I think, and something else I'm taking away from these, uh, this, this polling with regards to the Republicans on this list who don't have super high favorability ratings, I think they might be more open to, you know, hearing or voting to at least hear witnesses during the impeachment trial, like Susan Collins, uh, I think, I believe Joni Ernst is a Republican, Murkowski definitely is, I believe McSally is, I think Gardner as well. And so those, you know, senators, those Republican senators with those low approval ratings, you know, I think are more apt to, willing to vote to hear witnesses during the Senate's impeachment trial of uh, Donald Trump. Nice nighttime tea, but... I mean, what, Bernie's got it, you know, it's looking better and better for him getting the Democratic nomination, but that's not to say we need to let up on any of our efforts, we still need to be donating as much as we can, canvassing, knocking on doors, talking to our friends and family, posting on social media, having these conversations, starting this dialogue, because... Again, I, I've, I've said it before, I'll say it again. He's Bernie Sanders represents the best chance, and the movement he represents are the best chance that the United States has for 
you know, drastically improving the material conditions of, you know, the working people in the United States and, you know, having universal health care, passing Medicare for all, canceling all student loan debt, canceling all medical debt, making college free, enacting a Green New Deal, ending these, ending these wars, legalizing marijuana, you know, and ending institutional racism in the school system and, and workplace and, and, you know, within policing and all of these things. And he's he just been on the right side of history, pretty much, you know, every issue through his career. He's not perfect. He could be more left on some things. Um, but again, he's the best chance that we have for, you know, improving the lives of working people, improving the lives of, you know, hundreds of millions of working people in the United States for for the better and he's the only one that I trust to once elected to to fight for those things because he's he he just gets it. Bernie Bernie just gets it and <laughs> you know, people are getting him. There's a reason he has the most, you know, individual campaign contribute contributions to a presidential campaign at this point in history because his message resonates he's been clear and consistent people see him as honest and trustworthy that's why 65 percent of people have a um you know approve of bernie sanders and you know like what he's saying like what he's advocating for because when you actually look at it when you break down these issues that bernie is advocating for most Americans support things like single payer health care or Medicare for all, legalizing marijuana, you know, regulating Wall Street, taxing the wealthy more, legalizing marijuana. I think I already I already said that, but but you get the idea and so it's no wonder that you know Bernie is the most popular because he supports positions that would benefit people. And he's not talking about how like we can't you know, do these things that a lot of other countries have already implemented. And if America is so great, then why can't we have universal health care and free college and a Green New Deal as well? But, you know, it's all these positive signs for the Bernie campaign are just pointing up. There's a new Reuters poll that came out showing him leading Joe Biden nationally. Um, you know, he raised a bunch of money the couple of days after the debate. He has high favorability ratings. Um, and he's, you know, leading or tied to the lead in a lot of these early states. But again, let's, let's keep our foot on the gas pedal and keep this momentum going so we can make sure Bernie's the nominee. And again, Bernie, Bernie beats Trump, Bernie 2020. Peace, peace, peace.